Hello, guys. Good morning. Do you hear me? Good morning. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Good morning, teacher. Uh, hi. How are you? I'm fine. And you? How are you? Very good. I'm fine. Very good. Thank you for asking. Um, let me open the the presentation. Give me just one second. Sorry, guys, but my internet is a little bit slow today. Okay, let me start sharing. Uh, do you see my screen? Yes, 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 yes. yes. Okay. Hello. Yes, yes. Do you hear me, guys? Yes. Yes. Hey, I can't hear you. Mm. Do you hear me? Yes. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. Sorry, I didn't hear you guys. Okay. Uh, let me start with the presentation. Do you see the full presentation now? Yes. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. Thank you. So we will start today um, with this warm up activity. Okay, the question is, what are you doing for next Christmas? I want you to give me at least two sentences, okay? Something really quick. Uh, Jose Juan, tell me, what are you doing for next Christmas? In, uh, in next Christmas, I, I buy buys, uh, a clothes. I am clothes. buying clothes. Am I, I am buy buying clothes. clothes. Remember that? I buy is not correct. Mm -hmm. That would be um, simple present. Okay. Y cuando usamos la S es nada más para third person, no para nosotros. ¿Ok? Ok. Eh, ¿Me escuchan? Eh, sí, 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 sí. No los escucho. No los escucho. I don't know why. I don't know why. Ok, so, José. Okay, so, José eh, Juan. Yes, it, yes, teacher. Okay. So as I said, when you use, um, remember when we started yesterday, the present continuous for future, that's how you have to answer this question, okay? Using the present continuous. So once okay. again, what are you doing for next Christmas? Okay. Uh, next Christmas, uh, I'm buying. I'm lodges. buying. I'm buying. I'm buying. I'm buying clothes. Clothes. Okay. One more sentence. I'm buying clothes because uh, I like the clothes. Okay. Okay. Very good. Let's go with Kevin. Kevin, tell us what are you doing for next Christmas? Good morning, teaching. And next Christmas, I'm I'm buying um. Chicken for the dinner, and I am do. I am going to visit my parents. Okay. Very good. Uh, what about the the um? Hold on. Dina, tell me what are you doing for next Christmas? Uh, next 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 Christmas. And she going to supermarket. She, she or you? Sorry, I'm going. <laughs> I'm adormitada. Well, okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to the supermarket and buying uh, uh, the ingredient for dinner for the Christmas, and I'm preparing uh, chicken. In saucy. Okay. 
All right, very good. What about Roxana Noemi? Tell us, what are you doing for next Christmas? Good morning. And in the next Christmas, I am visiting my husband's family and I cook in uh, turkey. Turkey, yes, please. Turkey, yes, turkey. Turkey. Okay, very good. What about you, Oscar? What are you doing for next Christmas? Um, the next Christmas, I will go to visit my family. Okay. And One more sentence. Then, the next Christmas, I want to be working hard. Okay, you will be working hard. Very good. Uh, Maria Angelica, what will, what are you doing for next Christmas? Hello. Uh, usually uh, at Christmas, uh, my husband and me visit uh, uh, the my husband's home uh, in the afternoon. And after we go, we go to church. Then we have. That, uh, then, then we have dinner, dinner with my family, and then we <laughs> have dinner with uh, my husband's family, and finally we go home and pray and go to sleep. And I believe uh, that this year we will do the same, same. Okay. So you eat a lot for Christmas. Yes. Yes. You My eat dinner husband. twice with your family and with your family. Yes. Y a veces más. Y una okay. Las tías. <laughs> okay. Okay, very good. Thank you, Maria. Let's go with, uh, let's see, Gabby, tell us, what are you doing for next Christmas? Uh, for next Christmas, I am planning to spend time with my family and I am going to exchange gifts. Okay, very good. What about you, Ale? What are you doing for next Christmas? And next Christmas, I will eat meat and my uh, this said with my family. With with my family. With my family. Okay, very good. What about you, Carlos? Uh, what are you doing for next Christmas? Um, I am going to visit my grandparents and I will bring them some gifts. Uh, I am going to bring a lot of chocolate. Okay. Um, you want to say to abuelos in general, ambos abuelos? Uh, yes, okay. my grandparents. Okay, yeah, grand, es que no sé si le escuché grandfathers, but okay. abuelos son grandparents, cuando es la abuela y el abuelo, okay? Okay, teacher, thank you, okay. grandparents. Thank you. Uh, Roxana Saraí, tell us, what are you doing for next Christmas? Um, I will go to my mom's house. Um, also, I have dinner with her. Okay. Um, I will go to my husband's family. Okay, very good. What about you, Maria de Los Angeles? What are you doing for next Christmas? Well, I'm going to buy the ingredients for the dinner and prepare the food. And I buy going to rocket. Okay, excellent. Let's see, Angel, what are you doing for next Christmas? In, in next Christmas, I. Uh, 
I'm buying some uh, gifts. Um, um, I I am helping my mother prepare the chicken. Okay, okay, very good. What about you, Karen? What are you doing for next Christmas? Um, I am flying to Toronto with my family. We're uh, okay. staying in the Niagara Fall for a weekend, and I am um, uh, having a great time with my family. And I am eating the USA Fools, uh, typical, and that's it. Okay, that's excellent. Very good, guys. Um, okay. So today, guys, we are going to study the topic um simple future. Okay, we will study the future with will and the future with going to. Okay, so I need somebody to help me read in this part. Eh, Roxana Noemi, can you help me read in this slide, please? Eh, Roxana Noemi, do you hear me? Oh, sorry, teacher. <laughs> sorry, okay. Can you help me read it, please? Yes. Future will end going to. The simple future, also called future simple or future indefinite, is a verb tense which is used to show that an action will take place at, it, at a specific time in the future. The simple future is also used to talk about future habits and future generations. Okay, sorry. So basically guys, when we talk in future, um, we want to say something that will happen in the future. What is the future? Cuando estamos hablando del futuro, ¿qué quiere decir el futuro? Puede ser en una hora, en 10 minutos, en 15 minutos, en 5 minutos, pero es un tiempo que no es ahorita, all right? ni tampoco es un tiempo que fue ayer, sino que simplemente es algo que va a suceder en un tiempo adelante del que estamos hablando. No importa si es un minuto, si son dos minutos, siempre y cuando no sea algo que está pasando o que va a pasar en este momento, that's simple future. And we have two ways of forming the future using will, and using going to. Um, here we have a chart in which you can see like the difference between uh, will and going to. Con going to, we use the verb to be, okay? Remember, I am, she is, we are, okay? And when do we use the simple, the future with going to? Emma, can you help me reading the uses, please? Uh, be going to. Yes, yes. To express future plans and to express predictions based on evidence. A structure, subject plus to be verb plus going to plus verb in base form plus complement. This is the correct form and the incorrect form is subject no, plus. That's for negative. No, that's for negative. Negative, okay. Yeah, um, yeah. Okay, a uh, subject plus to be verb plus not plus going to plus verb in base form plus complement. And the question to, to be verb plus subject plus going to plus verb in base form plus complement. And the question mark. Examples, I am going to buy a new computer. This is a plan. Look at those clothes. It is going to rain later. Are you going to play soccer next Saturday? Okay, thank you so much. Emma. Okay. So, um, all right. So as we were talking yesterday, guys, and as you can see here today, going to is a way to express the future. When we are talking about plans, that means something we are sure is going to happen. Cuando tenemos algo que nosotros tenemos la certeza que sí va a pasar, entonces sí usamos el going to, okay? What is like the translation for going to in Spanish? Es como decir, um, I'm going to, 
play soccer, yo voy a jugar fútbol. I'm going to study English, yo voy a estudiar inglés. I'm going to, well, she's going to have breakfast, ella va a tomar su desayuno o a comer su desayuno. Ese es el future, okay? That's the, the best way to explain it. And that's like kind of the translation for the going to. It's important that we don't forget the verb. Un error bien común con el going to es que a veces pensamos que el going to es en sí la acción que se está ejecutando y en sí el going to es un auxiliar. Un ejemplo bien común es que a veces escucho que dicen, um, I am going to the supermarket. Entonces, si yo digo, I am going to the supermarket, no estoy usando el going to, sino que básicamente es como que estoy usando el present progressive. Porque el going to es un auxiliar, ¿ok? Después del auxiliar, hay que poner un verbo en forma base. O sea, si yo quiero decir, yo voy a ir al supermercado, I'm going to go to the supermarket, ¿ok? Going to por sí mismo no es un verbo, es un auxiliar. So it always needs a verb. Siempre se necesita un verbo en forma base para completar la oración, ¿ok? Do you have questions about going to? Hay preguntas acerca del de, de uso del going to o de la estructura? No, teacher. That's good. Ok, very good. Uh, Now let's teacher. go. Yes, Jose. Uh, when you use uh, going to with uh, he, she is, is saying? Uh, the auxiliary is, in this case, is. Eh, si yo digo algo acerca de mí, I am going to visit my mom. Para he, she, sería she is going to visit uh, her mom, for example. Cambia el verb to be, ¿ok? Pero el going to siempre es el mismo auxiliar para todos los sujetos. Pero el verb to be sí cambiaría. Thank you, teacher. Ok, my pleasure. Any other questions, guys? Jenny, go ahead. Teacher, una consulta. Eh, cuando se ocupa el, el verbo, ¿se va a ocupar en forma base o con el ING? Base form. Ok. Sería forma base, yes. Ok. Any other questions, guys? ¿Por qué y cuando hablamos de otra persona, teacher, siempre sería con a other person. Eh, o sea, ahí no. sí modificaríamos el verbo, no. No, el verbo en going to y en will para ninguno de los dos cambia el verbo. El verbo va igualito, va en forma base para todos los sujetos. El verbo va a cambiar para los sujetos. y me atre Sí, en el único tiempo gramatical en el cual se modifica el verbo para tercera persona es el simple present. De ahí no se hacen modificaciones. Por ejemplo, el futuro, los verbos para todos los sujetos van en forma base. ¿Ok? Eh, con el going to, lo único que cambia es el verb to be, como les decía. Acuérdense que el verb to be es I am, she is, we are, they are. Okay? Entonces el verb to be va antes del going to. En este caso, eh, aquí tenemos un ejemplo. I'm going to buy a new computer. Si yo quisiera decir este ejemplo para, para el sujeto he, por ejemplo, ¿cómo lo tendría que poner? Who can tell me? He's going to buy a new computer. Exactly, he's going to buy a new computer. Y si yo quisiera utilizar el sujeto they? They going to buy they a are, new computer. They, they are, are going to buy. Going to buy. They are going, they to, are buy going to buy a new computer. computer. Okay. Roxana, okay. ¿le contí su pregunta? Sí, gracias. Okay. Um, no sé, al mismo tiempo que lo Roxana escucha a alguien más, creo que fue un chico, pero no sé cuál era la pregunta que tenía. No, teacher, eh, I am only read the examples. You're reading the examples. Okay, very good. Any other questions about going to? Questions? Estamos claros. It's clear. Okay, okay, yes, very good. So, um, para que tengamos claro, You can take notes about this para que no se nos olvide para los tiempos futuros, el going to y el will específicamente. El verbo siempre va en forma base, ¿ok? El auxiliar going to siempre va a ser el mismo para todos los sujetos. Y el auxiliar will va a ser el mismo para todos los sujetos, ¿all right? La única diferencia con going to es el verb to be. Y acuérdense que el verb to be va antes de, eh, 
the going to, okay? Ahora vamos con will. Will, um, Kevin, help me reading the uses, please, of will. Will, will not. To make promise, uh, use. To make promise, to express prediction with not evidence, to express is spontaneous, spontaneous decision spontaneous. spontaneous decision the structure subject plus will plus verb in base form plus complement that is in positive in negative it's subject plus will not or want plus verb in base form plus complement and the question be will plus subject plus verb in base form plus complement and um señal de interrogación como se question mark question mark what? for example i will love you forever is a promise i think cards will fly on in 10 years it's a prediction okay i'll i'll go with you spontaneous decision okay thank you so much kevin so um will is used to express predictions promises or a decision that was taken like this in the moment Okay, um, predictions, the difference between using going to and using will with predictions is that with going to, we have evidence. O sea, hay evidencia, hay algo que nos indica que algo va a pasar. For example, um, aquí tenemos una costumbre que cuando vemos el cielo como las nubes están como todas, hay como decirlo, como todas quebradas o algo así. ¿Quién me puede decir qué es lo que la gente dice? Cuando las nubes están así. Que va a temblar. Entonces ahí usamos going to. ¿Por qué? Porque las nubes están quebradas. Entonces nosotros tenemos, es una costumbre, right? That's something that we know. And sometimes it happens. O sea, there is like a little earthquake when that happens. O por ejemplo, hay otro, hay otra costumbre aquí en el, en el país que cuando uno sueña que se le cae un diente, What's what is the 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 prediction the, the, for that? Morir, alguien, yeah, alguien se va a morir, right? <laughs> yeah, we have like different customs here. Pero we use going to with predictions whenever um we have evidence that something is going to happen, okay? And we use will for predictions when we have no evidence. Esto es más como una probability cuando usamos el will. Eh, examples, aquí tenemos los examples, cuando hacemos una promesa I will love you forever um, I will, cuando usted le presta dinero a alguien y ya le dice I will pay you next month, pero se desaparece right, una promesa um, tenemos una prediction I think cars will fly in 10 years another prediction um, I think people will go to space in 20 years for example es una prediction, ¿ok? Y la spontaneous decision, algo espontáneo quiere decir que es algo que pasa como en el momento, algo que usted de la nada se lo sacó, ¿all right? So, eh, imagine that you're with your friends and you're saying, oh, you know what, don't worry, I will buy pizza, for example, ¿ok? O sea, algo que, una decisión que tomó justamente en ese momento, una spontaneous decision, ¿ok? Eh, the negative form of will is won't. Esa es la contraction. Podemos decir will not o podemos decir want, pero conste. Hay una diferencia entre want, que es el verbo, y want, que es la contraction. So let's be careful with the pronunciation. Cuando yo digo el verbo querer, que es want, ese va como con A, ok, want. Si yo uso la contracción de will not, ese sería como con no, want, all right? Um, do we have questions about the structure for a will? Not teacher. Okay, very good. Will tiene una, una contracción 
en positivo. En vez de decir I will, puede decir I'll, ¿ok? Pero tenga mucho cuidado si ocupa la contraction. Porque a veces algunas personas no dicen bien o no exageran bien la contraction. En vez de decir I'll, dicen I. I love you forever. Entonces ahí there is no future because I'm not using the contraction properly. So let's be careful in that part, please, guys. Um, well, if there are no questions, let's go to the time expressions. Hold on. I'm gonna move this. Okay. So time expressions in simple future. Guys, every single grammar tense has different time expressions. Todos los tiempos gramaticales de inglés tienen sus expresiones del tiempo que lo ayuden a usted a identificar como en qué tiempo estamos hablando o para que usted también mencione las time expressions. Las de future las tenemos acá. We have tomorrow, soon. La pronunciación de esto es soon, no es soon, es soon, ¿ok? We have later, next week, next month, next year. Eh, in two weeks, in one week, in one month, in three months. Eh, later, a través, the day after tomorrow. Eso significa lo que decimos pasado mañana. Okay, the day after tomorrow. These time expressions are used in future porque nos indican que estamos hablando de un tiempo que no es ahorita. Okay, y las time expressions generalmente van al final de la oración o pueden ir al principio. No hay como una regla que diga esto solo se ocupa al final o esto solo se ocupa al principio. Eh, as long as it makes sense, siempre y cuando tenga sentido la oración, you can use it. Eh, for example, eh, tomorrow I will visit my parents. Eso puede decir, puede ser una oración. O puede decirlo, I will visit my parents tomorrow. It's, it's the same. Um, soon. Soon significa pronto. Ok, pronto es que algo va a pasar en algún tiempo en el futuro. Right. Um, we can say I will visit the, dent the dentist soon. Or you can say soon I will visit the dentist. All right. Um, do you have questions about the time expressions, guys? No, teacher. Is everything clear for you? No, no teacher. No, yes, teacher. No, teacher. Okay. No sé si alguien dijo yo, teacher. No. No questions. Okay. Entonces en el test todos tienen que sacar 10. Okay. Very good. Let's move to this exercise. It says, turn the following sentences into simple future. I will give you the first example. It says, my mom prepares breakfast every day. ¿En qué tiempo está esta oración? Simple present. Simple present. Simple present. Simple present. Okay. If I want to say this sentence in future, yo lo diría de esta manera. My mom will prepare breakfast tomorrow. No puedo decir my mom will prepare breakfast every day porque eso no tendría sentido. También hay que cambiar la time expression, okay? Um, Emma, help me with sentence number two. I'm studying, I'm I'm studying now. English right now. Uh, to the future. Okay. Yeah. Um, I will study English tomorrow at morning, in the morning. Okay, just a correction. The verb goes in base form. I will study, okay? Okay, okay. let's go okay. with let's Kevin. Number three, the dog is going to the bed at this moment. In future? The, the dog... The future. It's going to the bed uh, tomorrow. Mm -mm. Mm. The, the dog uh, in case teacher uh, is a uh, with evidence que um. sick. The dog, the dog is going to the bed at this moment. Eso está pasando ahorita. Está en present mm -hmm. continuous, yes. right? 
Ok, ¿cómo hacemos para pasarla a futuro? Ya sea con will o con going to. Ah, the dog will go to the bed and the weekend. Ok, the weekend, very good. Uh, Dina, help me with number four. My brother plays soccer on Sundays. In future? Will my brother play soccer next week? Okay. Can you repeat it once again, please? I will my brother play soccer next week. Okay, hold on. Si yo digo I will, estoy diciendo yo, pero como estoy hablando de mi hermano, Entonces solo sería my brother yeah. will. My brother will. Uh, sorry, mm -hmm. thank you. My brother will play soccer next week. Okay, very good. Uh, Roxana Noemi, help me with number five. The doctor visits the hospital. The doctor is going to visit the hospital. Okay, very good. Karen, help me with number, I think it's a two, four, six. Yes, my best friend is going to the university at this moment. Yeah, my best friend will to the university in twice a week. In what? In two in weeks? Twice, yes. Oh, twice significa dos veces. Uh, uh, in two weeks. Week. Okay. So you're missing the verb. Solo me dijo, my best friend will to the university. Oh, ¿Qué falta ahí? Uh, my best friend will go to the university in two weeks. Okay, beautiful. And Jose Juan, the last one. The teacher has an English class at 8 a.m. The teacher will have uh, an English class at 8, 8 a.m. tomorrow. Tomorrow. Okay, very good. Excellent. Okay, do you have questions, guys, about um, maybe the going to or the simple present or algo que no les ha quedado claro todavía? Teacher, este, yes. I have a question. Tell El me. Will siempre irá al principio de, del sujeto? Eh, sí, la estructura es sujeto. Primero el sujeto, eso es lo primero. Luego va el auxiliar will. Si es positivo, will not, si es negativo. Ajá. Luego va el verbo en forma base. Siempre, siempre en forma base. Siempre, y siempre. pues el complemento que usted decida eh, ocupar. Solo cambiamos Ajá. las preguntas, que ahí hacemos el switch, ¿ok? Sí, ok, sí. All right, any other questions, guys? No questions? No. Okay, very good. I was taking the screenshot. So, Jenny, tell me. Teacher, disculpe. Eh, por ejemplo, en la, en la question, the, the dog is going to the bell. Si se ocupa con going to, en este caso sería the, go, the dog, the, the dog is going to go. Yes, correcto. The dog is going to go. To the bed uh, tomorrow, por ejemplo. Okay. Porque ya, esta... no, ya uh -huh. anularíamos el ING en, es, en esta. O sea, no pueden ir to, to going, to going. No, porque okay. el auxiliar es meramente going to. Ok, guys, give me one second. Hold on. Sorry, guys. Okay. Um, Jenny, continuando con usted. Yes. Um, sí. Los verbos, vaya, es que este going to, cuando lo ocupamos en, esa, en ese tiempo gramatical, going to cumple la función de un auxiliar. No es un verbo como tal, sino que acuérdense que 
todos los tiempos gramaticales siempre ocupan de un auxiliar. Tengan como la, la mentalidad de que el auxiliar es quien le ayuda al verbo en la oración. Siempre, siempre. En este caso con going to, going to como tal es un auxiliar nada más y va a ser el mismo para todas las, todos los sujetos, eh, todas las oraciones. All right? Entonces, going to le va a ayudar nada más al verbo a que la oración esté completa. Por eso es que siempre eh, necesita un verbo en forma base, porque no funciona como tal, eh, como un verbo, sino que funciona como un auxiliar. Entonces, el auxiliar es going to, va con ing y va a ir en ing eh, siempre, pero no porque sea un verbo, sino porque es un auxiliar. Entonces, yo siempre voy a decir, I am going to go, she is going to go, he is going to go. Yo sé que a veces se da la confusión con el go, porque aquí tenemos going y luego ponerle un go, a veces como que uno se confunde, pero en este caso siempre hay que ponerle, después de going to, un verbo, un verbo al, a la oración, porque going to, como les explico, es un auxiliar nada más, no cumple la función de un verbo, no se puede dejar como un verbo en el future, ¿ok? Entonces, sí, Jenny, siempre eh, el ejemplo que usted ponía, the dog is going to go to the bed, así tendría que ser usando going to. Ok, teacher, thank you. My pleasure. Any other questions, guys? No, no questions, question. teacher. Eh, no no questions, thank you. Ok, very good. Ok, so now let's do a little quality check. Uh, who can tell me when do we use the future tense with going to? ¿Quién, ¿Quién anotó los usos? When do we use it? Cuando está seguro de que va a pasar algo. Okay, very good. The other one? Future plans and predictions. Exactly, future plans and predictions when we have evidence. Okay, very good. When do we use the future tense will? To make promise. Promises, exactly. Promises. Promises. Okay. Predictions. 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 Spontaneous predictions. Okay. Predictions with no evidence and spontaneous decisions. Very good. And number three, what is the negative form for will? Will not. Will not. Oh, one. Okay. Oh, one. 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 Beautiful. And what is the question form for going to? Verb to be, mm -hmm. to be subject, going subject. to, verb uh -huh. in base form and complement. Okay. Kevin, give me an example of a question using going to. Are you going to buy at the supermarket tomorrow? Okay. Excellent. Very good. Okay. So let's move to the game now. Okay, we will play a game. Vamos a jugar un Kahoot, okay? So let me, oh, hold on guys, I need to log in. Uh, Google. All right. All right, so I'm gonna share the link here in the chat. I is the link in the chat, okay? So let's um, join. Let's join, please. Let's see, one, two, 
One, two, three, okay. I have 18 people. Alguien más se va a unir? I'm missing four, I think. Is somebody else joining the game? No, okay. Le voy a start now entonces because of the time. Guys, please read the questions. Read the sentences, okay? Que a veces por eso no sale mal porque leemos a la carrera. Okay, let's see. On fire, Emma, Carla, Kevin, very good job. Okay, let's go with number five. Okay, let's see. Next one.
hurt significa lastimar, guys. Okay? In case you didn't know the, the meaning. Esa palabrita de la María significa lastimar. Hurt. Okay, let's go to the next one. We're almost done. This is a question. Please pay attention about the verb. All right, this is the last one. Okay, so let's see the podio, our first three places. Number three, we have Emma. Number two, we have Mr. Kevin. And the first place goes for, let's see, Carla. Very good job, guys. Excellent. Congratulations. Let's see. Okay, let's see the, oh, we got a 64, yeah, 64%. And okay, very good. We will stop here. And 
Okay, now guys, we will do, uh, we have a listening practice, okay? Do you see my screen? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. Part A, it says, read the given text. That means this text. Then answer the following questions by choosing the correct answer. This is the test, perdón, el, el paragraph. And these are the questions. There are just five questions. Uh, I'm going to have you reading one paragraph each. Um, let me see. Maria Angelica, help me with the first paragraph. Donde dice, it's December, as the entire family, please. Okay. It's December 31st, New Year's Eve. Ruth and Larry Carter are celebrating the holiday with their children. Nicole and Jonathan, the Carters are very happy family. This New Year's Eve. And the next year is going to be a very good year, year for the entire family. Okay, thank you. Um, Gabby, help me with the second paragraph. There's the next year as the used card. Next year, Ruth and Larry are going to take a long vacation. They are going to visit Larry's, Larry, Larry's mother in Alaska. Nicole is going to finish high school. She is going to move to San Francisco and, and begin college. Jonathan is going to get his driver's li li license. license. He is going to save a lot of money and buy a used car. A used car. Okay. A used okay. Thank you. Um, Esther Beatriz, are you here? Yes, teacher. Okay. Can you help me with the last paragraph? This, as you can see, as the Happy New Year. As you can see, the Carter are really looking forward to next year. It's going to be a very happy year for all of them. Happy New Year. Thank you. Um, do you have questions about the vocabulary in the paragraph, guys? Is there a question, a uh, word that you don't understand? Yes, which one? Save a lot of money is ahorrar. Uh, yeah, save money is ahorrar, como guardar dinero. <clears throat> okay, okay. Esto que vemos acá en la primera línea, el primer párrafo. New Year's, esta palabrita se pronuncia Eve. Repeat, guys, Eve. 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 Y New Year's Eve significa víspera de Año Nuevo, ¿ok? Eh, la víspera creo que va antes del, sí, el 31, ¿ok? New Year's Eve, ¿ok? Um, let's see, holiday es un, un día festivo. Let's see. Esta última palabra del segundo párrafo used car significa un carro de segunda un carro usado ok si usted digamos va a, um, a comprar por ejemplo a esos lugares de, no sé el shopping center el mega pack y todo eso ahí venden used clothes all right ropa usada así lo podemos decir eh, college esta palabra este de aquí college that's the pronunciation and college is a synonym of university, all right? Pero allá en Estados Unidos le dicen más college que okay, university. It, it Carters. Este es un apellido, ellos son los Carters, estamos hablando de la familia. Uh, forward, eso también. Looking forward es como esperando algo. They are really looking forward to next year, o sea que están ansiosos por el, por el próximo año. That's the meaning of, esa es una expresión, look forward, look forward. Si usted le dice a alguien, I look forward to meet you, quiere decir que está esperando, que está ansioso de, de ver a esa persona o de conocer a esa persona. Pero es una expresión, look forward. Um, okay, so uh, we will go to the questions. The questions are over here. Number one, are Ruth and Larry going to take a long vacation? 
We have, yes, they are. No, they aren't. Yes, we are. Yes, he is. What is the correct answer? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Okay. Yes, they are. Number two, who are they going to visit in Alaska? Larry's brother. Okay. Larry's brother. There you go. Number three. Number to where is Nicole going to move? San Francisco. Okay. Let's San see. San Francisco. To San Francisco. Yes. Okay. Number four. Is Jonathan going to get his driver license? Yes. 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 Yes, he is. Okay. He is. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. yes, he is. Number five. Are the Carters looking forward to having a very good next year? Yes. Yes, they are. They are. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Very good. Okay, let's go to this one. All right, this is a quick listening. I will ask you guys to please mute yourselves. Ponga a mute, please. We will listen to this uh, audio and then we will answer these questions, okay? So let's listen. What will the hotel look like? Well, it will look like a large bicycle wheel, but inside, it will be a normal hotel. Will it be in the moon's orbit? No, it won't. The hotel will be in the Earth's orbit. How many rooms will the hotel have? There will be a hundred bedrooms. What about food? Where will people eat? There will be two restaurants. A pizza restaurant and an expensive restaurant. And three cafes. What about the evening? Will it have activities for visitors? Of course. It will have a big cinema with loads of great films. Will it have a sports centre for tennis and basketball? It won't be possible to play tennis or basketball, but there will be running machines. Who will work in the space hotel? There won't be any people. All the workers will be robots, like me. Oh! Okay, should I play one more time or we got the, the answers? Play one more time. Play one. Okay. Play one more time. Just to put it, just to put you in context, el audio se trata de un hotel que se va a abrir en el espacio, okay? So that's like the context of the, of the, the audio. Esto que es, esta palabra que mencionan orbit es órbita, all right? Eh, so let me play one more time. <clears throat> What will the hotel look like? Well, it will look like a large bicycle wheel, but inside it will be a normal hotel. Will it be in the moon's orbit? No, it won't. The hotel will be in the Earth's orbit. How many rooms will the hotel have? There will be a hundred bedrooms. What about food? Where will people eat? There will be two restaurants, a pizza restaurant and an expensive restaurant and three cafes. What about the evening? Will it have activities for visitors? Of course. It will have a big cinema with loads of great films. Will it have a sports centre for tennis and basketball? It won't be possible to play tennis or basketball, but there will be running machines. Who will work in the space hotel? There won't be any people. All the workers will be robots, like me. Oh. Okay. So let's go with number one. Where will the hotel's orbit be? And we have the options. Yeah. Around Earth, the sun, the sun, I'm sorry, Around or the moon. Around right the moon. Moon, okay. Yes. Number two, how many rooms will the hotel okay. have? A hundred. Okay. 
How many restaurants will it have? One, two, two or three. It has two, 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 one, two, two or three. three. Two. two restaurants. Okay, number four. In the evening, people will go to the cinema, watch TV. We'll go to the cinema, watch TV, or listen to music. Go to the cinema. Go to the cinema. Okay, number five. Number five. What course will people do? What course? Tennis, tennis, basketball, 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 no, the last one, tennis, uh, running or basketball, running, 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 machine. running, machine. okay, so let's Click on finish. We will check our answers. And, bueno, esta la tuvimos mal, I think, pero we got a 10. Well, 9 out of 10. Y creo que esta, let's see. What will the hotel look like? Well, it will look like a large bicycle wheel, but inside it will be a normal hotel. Will it be in the moon's orbit? No, it won't. The hotel will be in the Earth's orbit. In the Earth's orbit. It's at a location, not in the moon. Okay, very good. So let me hold on. Let's take the second screenshot. Okay. okay, and now let me go back to the presentation. So, uh, we already finished the games and also the listening activity. Now we will get a little bit of celebrations vocabulary because we will talk about celebrations, all right? Pretty much about birthdays and I think Christmas is the next one. Yes, Christmas. So here we have some vocabulary related to birthdays. Um, here we have balloons, los globos, se dicen balloons, okay, like with you. And the intonation goes in the last one. Repeat, guys, balloons. 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 Okay, this one, repeat, birthday hat. Birthday. 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 Okay. Lo que llamamos nosotros chonga, ese es un bow. Repeat bow. Bow. Okay. Now we have a birthday card. Repeat birthday card. Birthday, birthday card. card. Okay. Uh, repeat, guys. Gift tag. Gift, 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 gift tag. Uh, uh, okay. Para que entendamos este gift tag, se han fijado que cuando uno da un regalo en una bolsita, en esa bolsita hay como una tarjetita chiquitita que viene como en, en el agarradero. No sé si se han fijado. Sí, sí. Yes, ese es un, ese es un, que ahí uno le pone como la dedicatoria, ¿verdad? Eso es un gift tag. Eh, cuando no da bolsitas, a veces lo pone en cajita, lo envuelve y le pone un sticker donde ahí le pone la dedicatoria. Entonces, ese es el gift tag, ¿ok? Um, the next one, repeat, porn. Como con J, porn. Porn es un, como un, le llamamos como pito o claxon aquí. Eh, ese es un horn. No sé cómo se llama esto en realidad en Spanish. I don't know if you know, guys. De los que andan los del pan. Corneta. Una corneta, es el corneta, yeah, thank you. Okay, that's a horn. Then we have, repeat, gifts. 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 Who remembers what is the synonym of gifts? Present. Presents, exactly. Thank you, Carla. Un sinónimo de gifts, o sea, otra manera de decir regalos es presents. Present. Okay, así, present. Mm -hmm. Gifts or presents. 
Um, okay. Uh, the next one, repeat guys, candles. 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 Okay, no, it's candles, it's candles. Okay, candles. 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 Okay, candles. here we have repeat candies. Candy. 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 Uh, aquí tenemos repeat biscuits. Biscuits. Y abajo tenemos cookies. Y abajo tenemos cookies. Cookies. Okay. Okay. Um, biscuits son galletas, pero in the UK, in United Kingdom, okay, allá en Inglaterra. Cookies are, well, nosotros lo conocemos como cookies in United States, okay? Uh, then we have, well, we already know this one, fruits, chocolate, uh, as soon, repeat guys, ice cream, bar. Ice cream, ice cream bar. 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 Okay. Then we have a birthday cake, we have a cupcake, um, then soda, chip or french fries, popcorns, ice cream sundae, y payaso se dice clown. Yes, repeat yes, clown. 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 Okay, no. do you have questions about this vocabulary, guys? No questions. No, no, no. questions. Okay, let's go to the Christmas vocabulary. All right, so here hay algunos que están repetidos, okay? So I'm going to go with the ones, bueno, mejor díganme ustedes alguna palabra que no conozcan, porque aquí yo creo que la mayoría sí las conocen, pero si hay una que ven que no conozcan, tell me so I can... Explain to you the meaning. Las luces con las que se decora el árbol generalmente son Christmas lights. Ok, estas. Stockings. La chimenea. Oh, eso. Son estos calcetines, no sé si ven estos calcetines que uno a veces los cuelga y no sé qué es lo que ponen ahí. I don't know the tradition too much. Pero los stockings. Candies. Ah, candies, ok. So, oh, esos son, oh. así se les llaman, stocking. A esos calcetines grandotes son stockings, ¿ok? Eh, chimeneas fireplace, all right? Then we have uh, lo, la galletita de, ¿esta que está aquí? Galletita de jengibre. Las de jengibre, exactly. Gingerbread, men, ginger es jengibre, solo ginger. But gingerbread son galletas de jengibre, all right? Eh, esta corona and creo que le decimos en Spanish that's a wreath ok, aquí tiene el nombre, mm. I'm gonna zoom it up creo que no se ve muy bien this one, that's a wreath ok um, wow. ornaments son adornos, ok entonces cuando usted quiere decir las bolitas o los adornos de navidad esos son Christmas ornaments Ok, así se dicen, como está aquí la palabra Christmas ornaments. Christmas lights, eh, la estrella es una star, ok. Then we have over here, <coughs> gingerbread house. We have the Christmas tree, el arbolito es un Christmas tree. Santa Claus, the elf, esos son los que le ayudan a Santa, ok. Eh, we have the snowman, trineo se dice sleigh, ok, sleigh. Then we have the Santa sack, José el saco que anda Santa. We have a reindeer. ¿Cómo se llama el, el, que, el que sale en las canciones? El que tiene la nariz roja. Ay, por Rodolfo. 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 That's a, a reindeer. Ren. Ren, ok. Eh, Christmas card, chimney, que es la chimenea. Eh, esto suena como cosa de la celebración judía menorah. Eh, but we don't really do that here. Eh, un copo de nieve es un snowflake. Ok, snowflake. De ahí vamos aquí. Basically we have the same. Los bastoncitos esos que venden de, de Christmas. Esos que saben como a mentas es un candy cane. All right. Las campanas son bells. Aquí once again, Christmas ornaments. Um, Let's see, la guirnalda de Navidad se dice garland, ¿ok? Si la quiere decir en plural, solo hay que agregarle la S, garlands. Los stockings son estos calcetines que les decía. 
eh, snow globe, esos son como adornos que cuando uno los mueve parece como que está nevando, snow globe. Then we have Christmas potting or Christmas cake, la estrellita que ponemos como on the top of the Christmas tree, that's a star. Santa, Santa's hat, que es el gorrito de Navidad que a veces los compramos para, para Christmas. And basically that's the Christmas vocabulary, guys. Do you have questions about this? Teacher, ¿y los no. que ponen nacimiento abajito del arbolito? I'm sorry, can you repeat that? El nacimiento que le dicen aquí, que ponen abajo del árbol. Oh, that's a good one. Let me see. Vamos a buscarlo, because I don't know if gringos duda, but let me see. Um, I think that would be Hold on. I'm looking for the specific word. Según es, hay varias maneras. This is one. Let me put it in the chat. Nativ nativity set. Esa es una. Another one. Christmas nativity scene. Es otra. Christmas nativity scene. Okay. Eh, let's see. Ah, sí, esas dos, eh, Oscar. It will be the nativity scene or okay. the Christmas nativity okay. scene or the nativity okay. scene. Cualquiera de esas dos. All right. Thank you. Okay, my pleasure. Any other questions, guys? Hello, hello. More questions? No, teacher. No, teacher. No question, no, teacher. teacher. Okay. So let's go with this speaking activity. All right. We have four questions. Number one, what will you do for your next birthday? Esto sí lo podemos contestar with will or with going to, depending on what you're going to do. Will you do something special for Christmas? And what will you do? These two questions are positive questions. Me estoy preguntando lo que va a hacer. Las últimas dos, fíjese bien, dice what won't you do for your next birthday and why? And what won't you do for next year's, uh, for next New Year's Eve and why? O sea, en las últimas dos les estoy preguntando qué es lo que no van a hacer para su cumpleaños y para su, para la víspera de año nuevo, ¿ok? Guys, the speaking activities are speaking. Quiero que hablen, all right? No que estén en silencio y que estén anotando. Quiero que estén hablando. Ya sabemos la grammar. Ahí tenemos algo de vocabulary. So let's use it. And let's practice these questions. Let me stop sharing. I'm going to take a screenshot of this. And I'm going to put you in breakout rooms so you can practice these questions. Remember, speaking. I want to hear you speaking in the breakout rooms. Um, the questions are here in the chat of Zoom, okay? So now let me create the breakout rooms. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So let's, let's accept the invites, please, and let's go to practice. Okay. Uh, I I am. Um, you uh, can send to the group of WhatsApp. 
es que estoy desde el teléfono y... Ya las enviaron, teacher. Oh, yeah, somebody send them. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. We'll start with the questions. Karen, what will you do for your next birthday? Uh, I yeah. I will sleep early. I will go. I will go to the supermarket by my cake birthday and I will visit visit me my friend and I will have a great time with my family and my friends. I will um eat my favorite food, eat Chinese food and eat my birthday cake. And I give, uh, I will give a present, and that's it. Okay. And Maria de Angeli, will you do something special for Christmas? What will you do? I I hope a lake, for example. Okay. I went to the lake, so I yes, I will expect that my family uh, give me some presents. So this day I won't cook because it will be my birthday and I will rest. Something like that, you can invent. No, I said it, that can be the, the real information. Okay. Try again, try again. What would you do for your next birthday? Me. Anyone, like the, 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 think, the people uh, that you speak. Okay, for my next birthday, I think I will, I will wake up, I will wake up late because I I want do many things. Okay. Also, I will I will buy new clothes. Okay, great. After I will I will spend time with my family because I, I love my family. Okay. Uh, probably I will I will eat cake. I will I will uh, I will. I will eat chocolate cake because mm -hmm. it's my favorite cake. Okay, and that's okay. it. Okay, that's great. You see, you can invent things that probably don't happen, but yeah, you can <laughs> you can speak more. Yes. So you ask the other person. Okay. Um what would you do for your next birthday? Uh, another girl, girl is Lillian. No. Okay. We do something. Okay. Uh, what you can won't you, okay. What won't you do for next year's even and why? Okay. For the next the next new year's if i i want mm, i want to buy artificial and um, lines and um, i want to uh, go to my bed early and I want 
I want to prepare a dinner. Eh, voy a hacer la otra pregunta. Why you do something special for Christmas? What why you do? Para quién? Este, para usted, Ángel. Um, okay. Um, and special Christmas, I will. I will some give um, um other I uh, I I will have in the house for decorate at least much. Only that. Man, that's En it turned. ¿Verdad? En. Yes. Ajá, tiene que, tiene que. En I'm going to eat. Ay, yes. sí. Es tricky. Ajá, tricky. Sí, sí, Porque sí. es como que si usted lo dice en español, va. Y voy a comer tal cosa. Porque voy a visitar la casa de mi abuela y voy a comer tal cosa, sí. O sea, como que siempre okay. tiene que ir el, el going to ya la, ya la modifiqué, pero no sé si, si me he enchivolado, si me he perdido toda. Pero dice, <risa> I'm going to visit my mother's house and I'm going to eat tur turkey. Ya, ya me perdí. <risa> sí, uh -huh. and I'm eh, going to eat. Going to eat. Uh, eat, eat turkey. Turkey, ajá. Uh -huh. Va, ya hoy sí, ya hoy sí. Ay, sí. Okay. Um, the next. Jose Juan, what will you do for your next birthday? I will uh, go uh, to the beach with my. Así. Uh, pero. Uh, porque yo puse chimenea de leña y me sale fire, fireplace. Ah, pues exactly. Fireplace. In front, fireplace. Así. In front, fireplace. Uh, hoy. Will you do something special for Christmas? What will you do? I will make the ay, como el árbol de Navidad, the tree decorate. Así. Decorate. Ay, que voy a el árbol. <laughs> Decorating. Uh -huh. Y... Um, yeah. Uh -huh. My family. Mm. A, a playing games table My games phone. okay that's different it's a lot but it's different so what about you what what um, you do? I, I don't know but I think Okay, so we will just wait for the rest to come back because I think they are still practicing in the breakout rooms. Oh. 
Okay, so everybody's coming back. And let me just ask a couple of questions to some of you. Let's see, Karen, we will start with you. Uh, tell me what are your plans for your next birthday? What would you do? Okay, I will go to the supermarket by birthday cake and birthday hunt. And I will Thank eat you. my favorite food is food and bring soda a lot. Don't drink and soda. That's bad. <laughs> and okay. only the day. And okay. I will open my present and I will visit my grandparents in their house, their house, and that's it. Okay, okay, excellent, Karen, thank you so much. Um, What about, uh, let's see, Jose Juan, are you here? No, we always, oh yeah. I yes, yes, yes. What teacher. would you do for Christmas? No, for new, yeah, yeah, for Christmas. Would you do something special? Um, uh, I will, I will uh, go uh, to the beach with my family because it's a, a, a ¿cómo se dice? Temporada de, de, season. It's a it's special a, season. It's a special season. Special season. Okay. All right. What else, Jose Juan? What else would you do? I... I, I will, I will cook for my family. I I go to the visit my I will I will go to the visit my family, other family, and I I will visit many places. Places, many places. Place, many places. Okay. Uh, Roxana and Noemi, tell us, what would you do for your next birthday? I'm going to go to the mall and I'm going to eat pizza with my family and I'm going to go to the cinema. Okay. Okay. Excellent. What about you, Carla? What would you do for... Uh, next Christmas, do you have special plans? Uh, you're in mute. Oh, there you go. <laughs> no, not yet. Not yet, <laughs> but I, I try to to be um, have a special season for my family. I my daughter is uh, she likes to 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 decorate uh, the house, and um, I am going to buy a new a <laughs> Christmas tree because the last one is old and I will buy some clothes for her, new shoes because she likes to buy shoes. Um, and also I am going to visit my mother-in-law. She, she cooked delicious and I like to, <laughs> to, to, to go there and spend time with her. She okay. teach me a lot of things for cooking. Oh, interesting. You have a good relationship with, with your mother-in-law. Yes, thank God. Okay, yes. that's a blessing. I <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have, sometimes I have more, a great relationship for her than my husband. <laughs> oh, really? Okay, okay, interesting. Joking, well, good to know. Good to know, Carla. Yes. Okay, <laughs> very good, guys. So we will stop here with the class. Um, I want to know if you have questions for tomorrow's presentation or if everything is clear for everybody. It's teacher, I have a question, teacher. Vaya, espera, me escuché dos teachers. Creo que escuché Emma y María. Vamos, Emma and then María. Okay. Este, usted dijo de que la presentación podía durar dos minutos, es lo menos. That's the list, yes. 
Okay, but in in my case, we are three. <laughs> and this is three minutes, the, the, the three list. Three minutes. Mm -hmm. ah, okay, it, that's my question. Okay, thank you, thank you Emma. Eh, Maria, creo que era la otra pregunta. Yes, eh, si nosotros podemos como hacer una presentación como para poner un fondo del contexto sin el, eh, sin el texto, ¿verdad? Yeah, sí, sí. Si you want to, that, that's okay. Ah, ok. Solo que si quieren que yo se las comparta, me la comparten, por favor. Eh, si ustedes la pueden compartir, alguien desde su compu, excelente. Ah, okay. Pero si necesitan que yo se las comparta, entonces me la mandan hoy, por favor. Ah, ok. Ajá, yo decía algo así como el escenario. Ah, sí, sí. That, that's ok. That's fabulous. Como les digo. 100% your creativity, guys. Eso se los dejo 100% a ustedes, como ustedes lo quieran hacer. Así que si, le, si lo quieren hacer así como con un escenario, excellent. Para mí, mejor. All right? Ok. Thanks, Very teacher. Good. Any other questions, guys? We're good? Mm -hmm. uh, ok. Very good. So, if you need help or something, please send me a WhatsApp. Eh, la clase de hoy se la voy a subir después del mediodía, all right? Yo les voy a avisar y ya les voy a mandar la presentación de igual manera, ¿ok? Y solo darles un heads up eh, para todos, quizá, porque creo que no se los había dicho. Si hay alguna, eh, ¿cómo les explico? Si hay alguna actividad o algo que yo hago en la clase y ustedes quieren acceder a eso después, recuerden que yo les mando, los, les mando las presentaciones en PDF, ¿verdad? Entonces, espérenme, les voy a enseñar para que vean a lo que me refiero. Ustedes siempre pueden acceder a los links, digamos, de algún listening o algo que yo hago desde su teléfono o también lo pueden hacer eh, desde la computadora, siempre en la presentación que yo les mando, porque yo conecto los enlaces a la presentación. Entonces, cuando se baja en PDF, los links siempre quedan como ahí este, attached. Les voy a enseñar cómo, cómo hacerlo. Give me one second. Este es el PDF de la clase, ¿ok? Usted lo puede ver desde el reader de Google o lo puede ver desde su, su teléfono. Yo ocupo la aplicación Adobe Reader, que siento que es la mejor para PDF. Vaya, aquí está toda la presentación. Hay un enlace aquí, que este es el juego. Usted le da clic aquí y ahí le abre el Kahoot. Ok, vaya, ¿qué tal si quiero repetir el, el listening? Vaya, vuelvo a la presentación y como el listening está aquí, le doy clic. Siempre que vea que haya un enlace, generalmente las letras van a aparecer así, como subrayadas. Y a veces hay imágenes, a veces el link lo pongo en las imágenes. Si digamos yo les pongo un quiz y solo está la imagen de quiz, usted le da clic a la imagen y ahí le va a abrir el enlace que, que está attached. Aquí le puede dar, eh, abrir enlace a una pestaña nueva para que no le pierda la presentación. Y aquí está lo que justamente lo que vimos hoy. Si hay algún enlace que usted eh, le ha llamado la atención de las presentaciones pasadas que hemos visto, todos los enlaces están attached a, a las presentaciones. Solamente los pueden buscar, lo pueden abrir desde su teléfono y desde su computadora. Por si quieren acceder al material, ahí lo pueden hacer, ¿ok? Así que solo les quería dejar ese dato porque creo que nunca se los había dicho. Um, ¿Questions? No. We're good. No, ok, guys. So, I will see you tomorrow. Get ready for your presentations and I hope you have a wonderful day, guys. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, teacher. Bye-bye, guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, teacher.